So now we're going to move on to our musculoskeletal exam. So first I'm going to look at your iliac crest um, and your shoulders here. And they all appear to be in line and um, midline with your spine and your neck. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and look at your back here. Um, I'm going to look for any type of abnormalities here. Your spine is processed. Um, there, the curvatures seem to be normal here. And I'm going to have you bend forward with your arms dangling. I'm going to test for scoliosis. Okay. Um, spine's midline. There's no lateral curvatures of the spine. Um, so I don't believe that any scoliosis is present. Now I'm going to have you sit on this exam table for me once again. I'm going to assess your um, range of motion of your TMJ. So I'm going to have you open, close, open, move side to side, forward and backward. Okay, full range of motion there of the TMJ. Um, now I'm going to assess your um, range of motion, your strength of your trapezius and sternocleomastoid muscles. Um, so for that, I'm going to have you put your shoulders up and move your head against my hand, head against my hand, again, again, strength is a 5 out of 5. Now we're going to test for your um, range of motion of your cervical spine. So I'm going to have you put your head forward for me, back, side to side, and then rotate your neck for me. Okay. So cervical spine motions are intact. I'm going to have you stand up once again. Um, and we're going to test your spine um, range of motion here. Um, I'm going to have you bend backwards, forwards, and then twist. Okay, full range of motion there in the spine. Um, bilaterally, I'm going to have you take a seat for me once again. And now we are going to um, look at your upper and lower extremities here. Okay, just gonna feel. When I was feeling your jaw, did you, was there any popping? Yeah. So no crepitus in the TMJ also. No swelling, edema, redness, or warmth here. No pain with palpation. Okay, no pain there. Now I'm gonna have you kind of um, do your range of motion in your um, upper extremities. So I'm gonna have you wiggle your fingers for me and then twirl your wrists, bend your elbows, Act like you're brushing your hair. Okay, full range of motion in the upper extremities. And now we're going to test your lowers. I'm going to have you stand up for me. Wiggle your toes and then move your ankles in a circle. Okay, I'm going to have you bend your knee and bring it out. Same thing, bend and out. Okay, full range of motion in the lower extremities. I'll have you take a seat for me once again. Um, now we're going to assess for the strength of your upper extremities. So I'm going to have you grasp my fingers, jaw, and then I'm going to have you put your fingers out, try to move them out, and then in, okay? And then I'm going to have you do your hands like this, push my hands, like with your hand, with your, there you go, good job. Other way, um, backwards, like you're pressing back on the gas pedal, good job. Um, and then I'm going to have you bring your arms to your chest for me, okay? And then push out, good job. Strength is a five out of five in the upper extremities. Now I'm gonna test your lowers here. So push up and then down and bring your legs in and then out, forward and then back. Five out of five strength um, in the lower extremities as well. Now I'm gonna look for your um, muscles, to look for your muscle symmetry and tone here. So I'm gonna feel your arms. My muscles are smooth and firm to be equal bilaterally with no atrophy. Do the same for your lowers. Muscles are smooth and firm. Um, no atrophy noted here. All the joints in the legs were um, appeared to be no swelling, edema, erythema present, no redness, no tenderness noted either. And that concludes our musculoskeletal exam.